Lao. Such an extreme change from the culture that we know. In the rural areas, it seems like a different world. Another dimension, perhaps. Mirroring some of the things of ours, with alterations that seem strange. Take the night market, for example. Vendors selling food that I recognize, then alien alteration. On the plates of food, there are bugs. Not bugs crawling on food, but some giant seasoned insects. Plates with mealworms wrapped in banana leaves, stacks of crunchy cicadas, or some oiled and sautéed rhinoceros beetles. We were ready to experience eating bugs, and we asked our friends to join my us. My name is Yacha, I'm from Czech Republic, and I'm 27 years old, and it will be my first experience to try eat insects. Bon appétit! <laughs> Hi, my name is Quentin, I'm come from France, and like you, it's gonna be my first experience, so bon appétit, enjoy! After our first reaction, mouths open, looking at crickets, plated so neatly, we decided to not only try each <laughs> bug, but film it. Admittedly, we did this as a novelty. I snuck one. We had all the big ones, with the ew factor picked out. Oh, and now? <laughs> bon appétit. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, um, it's good. <laughs> it's like a, it's something smaller here. <laughs> and I don't know, I need some waffles for my ship. It's crazy, okay. This was the moment for us that changed our feelings and thoughts about the food we were eating. <laughs> It's not bad. It's oh my not God, bad. The more we ate, the less cringe there was. We began to wonder about the possibilities and the benefits of insect farming. I don't mind that at all. The googling of insect farming in Thailand and Laos offered so much information, we began to see that the environmental and nutritional argument for eating insects is a powerful one. But this part is where all of the flavor crystals are. Stalling. Yeah, I am stalling. It's gigantic. Here are a quick few reasons why eating bugs stood out to us. Reason Maybe number one. Yeah. Insects are high in protein, as well as B vitamins and minerals, like iron and zinc. Plus, they're low in fat. Oh, this will have wings. <laughs> Combo. You have bonus. That's great. I really hate this one, it's not my friend. Reason number two. Insects are as nutritious as cattle and poultry and easy to raise without harming the environment. Farming them could also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. There's a flower. Reason number three. Raising insects is more humane than housing cattle, swine or chicken in high densities which causes stress to the animals. If you give me one more, I can definitely like... But insects, like mealworms and locusts, naturally live in dense quarters. I recommend this. I don't know. I recommend this. That was pretty good. I am surprised myself, but I recommend it. It's... It tastes like... <laughs> If they taste appetizing, with so many preparation options, and with all the benefits, the idea of making insects a main source of nutrients seems to make more and more sense. Fancier restaurants we went to in Laos served insects in a paste form, so people got all the nutrients and delicious nutty taste without the imagery of six legs and antennae. We will continue to eat bugs on our travels, but not for the ew, can you believe what I'm eating experience? but because we like it. The one. No, what? you put the <laughs> No, no, I'm going to tie anything like that. One. <laughs> okay, three. Oh, two. Three. Uh, maybe just...
take just take more. something like this. Yeah, but we don't know how many. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. It's a really long time. Um. <laughs> no, it's enough. It's enough. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, mama, mama. Oh, bon appétit. Master, but... Oh, no! You can put out if it's really bad. But you are not master. <laughs> Oh, it's so horrible. Mm, I feel bad. I'm feeling bad for him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that water is still. Uh, it was so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs>